Hey, hey, everyone. Welcome to Eden's Secret on this wild and windy April morning. Oh, I've just realised that I didn't actually see any April Fool's pranks uh, this April the 1st. How did I miss those? Anyway, welcome to this Disney-inspired wax melts video. If you want to see what inspired me to create the wax melts that you're going to see in this video, stick around. Enjoy! Okay, so some of you wanted to know what the inspiration was for some of these wax melts being absolutely Disney inspired. These are the parts of Disney World or Disneyland that have inspired me to create Disney wax melts and try and bring those fragrances that you know and love into your home to just create a bit of magic in your home. So the first one we have here is um, Splash Mountain Mist. And this is a ride in the Magic Kingdom. Absolutely iconic. The next one we have is Mickey's Beignets. Now you can buy Mickey's Beignets at the Port Orleans French Quarter, a Scat, Caf Scat Cats Club Cafe. They are iconic. I wonder how many iconics I'll say during this video. Some of them just need a little bit of a rub to get the lettering to pop out. I've never actually tried these, but apparently they are amazing. Okay, next up we have Florida Grand Christmas. Anybody that goes into the Grand Floridian um, at Disney World knows the smell of what it smells like inside. At Christmas, it has a great big reel gingerbread house made from real gingerbread which they bake on site and they build this huge gingerbread house in there so you can smell the hotel but predominantly what you can smell is gingerbread so that's what we've got here florida grand christmas is a mixture of the scent of the hotel edged with gingerbread And next up, we have Fantasyland from the Magic Kingdom. A very special area at the Magic Kingdom, which I absolutely love. Well, I love every part of it. And next up, we've got Dockside Eggnog. Now, you'll find you can buy Dockside Eggnog at, around Christmas time at Dockside Margaritas at um, Disney Springs. It used to be Downtown Disney, it's Disney Springs now. So I've tried to keep the colour schemes all within what you would expect, but I ran out of this gorgeous blue foil here and this is the colour that should have been on the yellow for Be Our Guest because Be Our Guest is a restaurant at Fantasyland again in the Magic Kingdom. Um, it's a restaurant and it's very it's all based around um, Belle and um, Beauty and the Beast. So this really should have been yellow and that lovely blue but I ran out so I went for pink instead. Now I've got, I thought that I'd already peeled the foil off two of them before I thought why don't I do a video explaining this. So this is the peel off. Right. 
right now it's time to make the wax melts let's get busy shall we
just added a little bit of gold mica into the drizzle here. So let's, oh, we need some, um, we need some glitter. Okay, so for the fantasy land, we're going to go with a bit of pink and blue, just like the label. Smells so fruity and fabulous, this one. So I think we'll do a blue drizzle with a pink background. I'm just using some blue Becquerel candle dye here. To everything I'm using today is in the description box below the video also you'll probably find I've got an Amazon shop now uh, with all my favorite products I'm not sure if it's like an affiliate thing um, but if it is and you purchase through the affiliate link um, I'll get a few pennies for you doing that, so thank you for that. So just a bit of purple and pink glitter going in. Before we do the drizzle. It is a gorgeous blue. Not very dark though, I don't want it really vibrant. And I have got fragrance in the drizzle this time. You can do it with, do the drizzle with fragrance or without, whichever you prefer. If you do it without it might come out of the mold sharper because the more fragrance you do put in there the softer your wax is going to get so the softer it gets the harder it is to unmold neatly and so we need some lovely neon pink which is pre-mixed here it's pre-mixed with sunflower oil Just add your desired quantity, whether you want it very dense or just a light touch, whichever you prefer. So I've gone with a probably a medium touch there, and you can already see how the blue is setting up. So you want to pour this second layer onto the drizzle just as fast as you can so that they both stick together. As I've said before, if uh, you're struggling to get your drizzle to stick to your, the other colour, just run the heat gun over it. The only thing is if you do that and you're using glitter, it tends to blow the drizzle, blow the glitter all over the place. So all the links to the colours, the moulds, the wax that I'm using, they're all in the description box be below the video. And if you'd love watching me make wax melts, I've got a wax melts playlist which I'll put in an information card in the top right hand corner. Also, if you like watching 
if you like the music I use, I've also got a link to the website where I purchase uh, the music for the videos. Okay, Dockside Eggnogs next, which you can get at Dockside Margaritas at Disney Springs. So if this is your favourite stop off when you go to Disney World, this might be the one for you. So we're just going to put a plain white drizzle in for this one because the eggnog has some lovely white froth on the top, well creamy coloured froth. And then with what we've got left over in the jug, we're just going to add some, I don't know whether to go, yeah, we're going to go Bright Gold 90A. This mica is from Mineral Makeup Ingredients. And we're just going to add some of that into the wax we've got left over. We are pouring, uh, our pouring temperature is about 60 to 65 but you can actually pour up to 75. Okay, so for this treat, we're going to go with yellow and blue. So I've got this lovely royal blue and pink glitter that I'm going to put in here first. Sometimes it's nice to have a contrasting glitter instead of trying to matchy-matchy. So I'm going with that Becro blue again because it, it's beautiful once it's set. Putting a little bit more in it than I did with the other one. So it's a bit stronger in colour. Get through some pipettes doing this. Uh, Someone asked about cleaning the pipettes out. Gosh, I don't. I'm afraid I'll just throw them because I can't think of a way to clean them out. The only way I could do it is with a, you know, those teeth cleaning brushes, but they're just not long enough to get all the way down there, all the way down here. So I'm afraid, yeah, it can be a bit of a waste. So if you're one of those people that doesn't want to waste pipettes, try and find another way to do the drizzle. with the yellow back row dye here it's very very concentrated mine because I made them up on my own I mean they look a bit decrepit but it's just 
full of colour that. Gosh, it might be sell them, you know. Right, this is looking like it's gotten a little bit cool, so I'm going to pop it in the microwave for a minute. This one might be my favourite out of these ones that I've just made. Well, if I didn't know any better, I'd think that I was in Disneyland with all these gorgeous Disney inspired fragrances today. So I'm not going to speed up the process of these setting up, I'm just going to leave them overnight to set up naturally on their own. No fridge, no freezer and they'll unmould a lot better if I do that so I'll see you tomorrow but for you it's right now. Okay first up let's unmould Splash Mountain Mist. Ooh, the freshness from that is absolutely fabulous. Next, let's unmold Mickey's beignets. That gorgeous treat that's a little bit like a fried doughnut but light as a feather sprinkled with ice and sugar. Super pretty. Mmm. Mmm. So delicious. Next up we've got something very iconic. It doesn't get any better than the Grand Floridian at Disney World as far as hotels go. Uh, but the smell inside the Grand Floridian is amazing. So I've created a wax melt that smells just like the Grand Floridian at Christmas. And I'm calling it Florida Grand Christmas. And next up we've got probably a good seller for Christmas if you're gonna create these yourself is Dockside Eggnog. Can't beat a bit of eggnog at Christmas, can you? All the glitter makes them so magical. And our next one, I think this is my favourite out of this batch that I've just made. No, no, favourite to look at, but not my favourite smell. My favourite smell is coming up last. So this one is Fantasyland. Oh, it looks amazing. Love it, love it, love it. Mm. Oh, that's nice. That is so nice. Oh, it, it might be my favourite out of this batch. So let's smell be our guest and see what we think. Totally be our guest, isn't it? Super, super bell, super pretty and super iconic. Can you see a number three? I can. Mm, yeah, I think I like the smell of Fantasyland better than be our guest. But they are both gorgeous. Right, let's see them all together, shall we? And there we are, all pretty and perfect and ready to make your home smell like some iconic Disney magical experience. 
that you may have smelled while you were in the magical world of Disneyland, Disney World, everything you need to create these beautiful masterpieces is in the description box below the video. The fragrances, well, you're probably better off sourcing fragrances closer to home if you're watching from Canada, the United States, Chile, Brazil, the Caribbean, Australia, Europe, Africa, India, the Far East, Singapore, China, Korea. Hope I didn't miss any areas out. Did I say Australia? I'm sure I did. New Zealand, I'm not forgetting you either. Iceland, Norway, Sweden, Germany. I could go on and go on. Uh, but I'm so happy that you're all here watching my video today. But don't forget to place a comment down in the description box below the video and I'll see you all very very soon for another video from me, Karen Morland, here at Eden Secret. Bye bye for now.